pulled it down. Creeping your crown anymore. When the moment I saw you, it's all gone. Hard to believe to a pimp like me. Used to have several women at the tail of the week. Huh. Took the time, I put that behind. Said I'm sorry, I got to go from the top. Lie to the man, I am high. Still a pimp, no good man. Has ever even tried. So I got to go, go, I got to go. All I want is for you to stay. Man out of grave, resurrected. Not here connected. No concession, just a man like you. Hello. Hi everyone. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Uh, I was supposed to stream an hour ago, but uh, I was playing video games. That was my bad. That was my bad. I probably should have made an announcement earlier that I was gonna push it back. But hi, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing right. Uh, yeah, and hello Craig, Cedar, Phil. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna be drawing some of my emotes in the new ones. Because uh, these are the only few things I did not like. Okay, other than like the, 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 the two things I didn't commission for like my re debut is like my model and my emotes. Because like, you know, I've been making my own model. Also, models are expensive. And then emotes, I'm an emote artist, so might as well, you know, right? Just uh, just more for the portfolio. Uh, ding, ding. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm a little EP, but excited for Jackbox. Ooh, what's Jackbox? Oh, on Sunday, right? I forgot about that. Um, yeah. Uh, cause we don't have the ND, so we might do some Jackbox. Uh, I'll have to see who's gonna be joining. But yeah. Uh, I have a friend with me today, uh, Andy. I'm deaf right now, so he can't hear me. Or the street. Uh, yeah, he can't hear me. It's not like he's here. <laughs> Alright. Wait, it's not Sunday today? Okay. Because I wasn't sure which Sunday. Whose Jackbox it is. I, I, I have no clue. You know what? Doesn't matter. Wrong, wrong fucking scene. <laughs> During a... I'm gonna. Oh, hello. It's not even here. Uh, oh, never mind. I thought you. Were I'm gonna... here. Yeah. Okay. Fucked up, bro. What's up? You're on live. You're live. Yeah. Woo. You're covered. Though. Hold on. I can just make you upside down. Can I? I can make you. Upside yeah. Down. I'll just hang you. Yeah. yeah. Like a bat. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's so funny. I can also just make it behind my head. Try speaking. Pee pee poo poo. And you're covering chat though. Where do I get <clears throat> with you? Like this. Yeah, I really like this chibi art you got. Mm -hmm. I need to commission the artist. Mm. I want my new design. Actually, I have a Another different TV. Also, hi Art. New sign stream addicted to video games. I forgot about viewers. Oh no, I didn't forget about my viewers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. I, like, I didn't. I didn't forget about you guys. Why would I forget about you guys? Sorry. Also, here are the emotes that I've been making. I don't know. You guys can see. I mean, no, of course you guys can see. It's on uh, the stairs right there. So, uh, these are a lot of emotes I need to make. Do you see this? So, while I was making them, I was kind of burnt out, and, uh, what do you call it? It's kind of crazy. Um, I had to make the, like, I made, like, how many? I made, like, two? Two in a day? And then I got sick of it. But I think doing them one by one is a lot more better than what I used to do before. Or I just kind of like do them all at once, which is pretty, which makes it makes me even more burnt out than I usually do. Nimos looks really cute. Thank you. 
glad you guys Thank like you. it. I drew it myself. Shut the fuck up. Who do you think <laughs> you are? <laughs> okay, I'm the one who drew the emotes. I'm making you spin. Screw you. <laughs> okay, I'll just put you back. Again. Um been drawing the emotes. It's been fun. Uh, I've been more uh, I've been doing I've been doing it faster than usual. Not sure why, but happens I guess. Why is it when I make personal art it's a lot faster than I make for commission? It should be the opposite. But no, it's not. I've uh, been trying to uh, be more disciplined, I guess, but still not uh, overextending, overworking, I guess. Because like uh, a few days ago, like I've been drawing my emotes, and my wrist was just hurting, and I was like, okay, I need to take a break. Like, kind of that kind of stuff, you know. Still try and make some work done but not pushing myself because like if i push myself i know my arm's gonna hurt for a lot longer and it's not gonna be good for the long run so you know put him on top of my head no thank you guys your talents are peerless <laughs> that's the first time someone called andy as I mean, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm fine with as. I just hate when people would pronounce it as easy. <laughs> easy game work. Oh my god, your lines look cleaner and more confident. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Been trying to just be more confident with the lines because it helps make it, the art look better. Who would have thought being more confident in the things you do make it make things better? Uh, what's this? Okay, I don't think like this will look fine. Okay, I need to squish out a little bit more. A true artist, how dare you? I'm the artist here. No, I'm the artist here. Yeah. What you mean? What artwork have you made, huh? Uh, these nuts. Thank you. When I make these nuts jokes, you may call me cringe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're cringe. I know. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Chat, you're gonna see me draw so fast. You won't believe it. I won't be distracted. Trust me. This is even the same color. Can't even tell it. Anymore. Okay. Chat, for my sanity's sake, I'm gonna do the emotes with no eyes first. Because. Okay, if you see the eyes I made for these, wow, they're very pretty, right? Wow, very eye-catching, but... <laughs> eye-catching, haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is my line. But, uh, there are a lot of work. Can I put multiply on this? I don't put multiply. I need new DMCA. Not DMCA. DMCA free songs. But I don't know any. But I should put more relaxing songs. Lo fi. Always lo fi. Yeah, lo fi is good. Yeah, but sometimes it gets boring, you know? Uh, sure. And uh, 
Huh. I don't know if Dance with the Dead is. Uh, who's Dance? Who is it? Who is composed? No, it's a it's a band or a group or something. Like I like their music. Uh, <coughs> depends. Who are they signed with? Or are they? Yeah, I don't know. So sure, I mean, I put low fi for now. Mm. Let me see. Dance of the Dead. Dance with the Dead. Yeah, I see. Form in California. Dark Scent Wave. Interesting. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, it seems like to be independent. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not gonna take chances though. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah, that, their music is good. I know we have like a couple of their albums just looping. Mm -hmm. When's Peanut theme song? Uh, when I have enough money to commission them. <laughs> yeah, how, do you know how expensive it is to commission like music? Very. Very expensive. Like I like I looked it up, search it up. Like I want to buy some custom <clears> music, <throat> and then I look at the prices, uh, and it's like starting at a hundred dollars, and I'm like, huh, <coughs> that's interesting. Like I, and then and then I think to myself, maybe I should just make my own music. Just like how I make most of my things, because I'm fucking crazy, like that. <laughs> but. I don't know. Music is something <coughs> I've thought about. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, sorry. Sorry, oh, I cut you off. No worries. Oh, what was I going to say? Music? Music is something I really want to get into. I never got the chance to. Because I... Yeah, yeah. Music is a lot of my inspiration. Mm hmm. Despite not being able to compose anything, I guess. I can play a bit of instrument, but that's it. Not much. That's only because I had two in school. And then a music maker sitting next to you. I mean, he doesn't make music anymore. I mean, I'm trying to make him make music again, but he doesn't want to. I'm, I'm trying, okay, chat. What? See, he doesn't know. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to make you compose music again. Bro, what I make isn't music. <laughs> It's like a fucking kid banging pots and pans together in the kitchen. Hey, hey man, you start somewhere, right? You don't beat yourself up, bro. I, I need to learn the fundamentals. That's just need to learn by listening, bro. Easy. I wish, but no, I need to learn the fundamentals. I mean, Toby Fox managed to learn composing, maybe good. I don't know. It just seems intimidating, I guess. <clears throat> Probably because, like, you know, something new is always intimidating. But I'm the type of person who's not afraid to learn something new. Also, because I'm just, a, I'm just curious about a lot of things, you know, how things work, stuff like that. learning can be fun <laughs> and you don't necessarily have to learn in a school setting you can just learn on your own like how I learn most things <laughs> school didn't teach me anything okay that's a lie <laughs> 
obviously they taught me some stuff but most of the time I'm just like uh, I wish teachers made it more interesting Mm -hmm. I think I've already talked about like how uh, uh, have I talked about it but basically I didn't like math because all the teachers sucked but there was this one teacher that was really kind and understanding and very patient when trying to explain uh, it to me it's mostly because like it's not that i don't get it it's just like i need mm, you need time to absorb it i need a different way to absorb yeah uh, to be precise yeah because yeah. Yeah, like one time i had a teacher where like this one teacher she was actually like uh what do you call it the teacher that the substitute teacher yeah she no. was actually really good at like teaching me to the fact that I got like a hundred for the first time <laughs> yeah. nice yeah uh, but like and that's me uh, yeah <laughs> but I have this like other teacher and where it's just like where when I don't understand something I just like I try to ask her and go up to her and just like and she would just say like just go solve it you know it's right there and like you know, when and I'm just like, you're a teacher, teach me, hell? <laughs> that just, like, it kind of annoys me. Some people aren't like that. Some people mm -hmm. are just like, just because you have the knowledge doesn't necessarily mean you can teach. Teaching is another whole skill set. Teaching is hard. Yeah, it is. It's another skill set. Yeah, that's why like uh, the computer science department in my university. Uh, like when I used to be a computer science major, I feel when I sit in the classroom, I feel like these people are really smart, but they're horrible teachers. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the the instructors for computer science, they used to like work as like programmers, and then they went to teach. Then mm -hmm. I yeah, then I would f sit there and feel like yeah, this is like this person is really smart. But they're a horrible teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there are just people like that. Yeah. I mean, it's always nice to have a good teacher. Because they make yeah. things a lot more interesting and fun to learn. What? A teacher that actually does their job? Crazy, I know. Did you go to a private school or a public school? Yeah, private. Oh. Like all your school years? Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah, same here. I can't say too much for like public school, but I know for a fact that in my country, teacher like teachers in private school care more about their students than in public. <laughs> I don't know if it applies to like different countries though. Yeah. Oh, nice. mm -hmm. Yeah. I respect my teachers a lot. I know. <laughs> I don't remember Jack shit from high school. All I remember from high school was the petty drama. God. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I what think I back about it, it's just so stupid. Yeah? I mean, it's high school. Yeah. What I remember is I'm that guy. <laughs> I don't mean like that guy. Like, I'm the fucking haunt head honcho. It's like, yeah, I don't give a shit if people call me a nerd. I'm fucking, like, way better than you. <laughs> that was me. It's like, I know, like, how good I am. <laughs> that shit. Yeah, that's why, like, I kind of didn't give a shit when people call me a nerd and whatnot. Because I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, so that was some fun, fun times. Mm -hmm. You probably beat people I'd probably talk in high school i only talk to yeah. nerds yeah it's like i don't care you yeah you drive expensive mm -hmm. motorbikes you wear expensive clothes you wear expensive shoes i didn't give a shit because mm -hmm. i was just like yeah you need me to pass so kneel <laughs> that was pretty much in my head i didn't say it but <laughs> 
kind of fucked up. Oh yeah, it is. But it's like. <laughs> Oh shit, that's not what I meant to press. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone needs everyone has that one like teacher that changed their lives, so it's like mm -hmm. you just need to find that one teacher. Mm-hmm. In regards of like the context. Hmm. Trying to think one. I think I feel like most of mine is mostly in like elementary school. Yeah, like, just, yeah. Like regardless, it's just someone that had like a lot of impact on you. Yeah, I remember. Um, what did he teach? Social studies, I think. Not social. <sighs> I guess it's social, but like, I, I don't think it puts the name justice because it's put like social history. Uh, geography all in one lump so yeah, yeah I, I get that yeah, yeah i know what you're talking about yeah but basically i had that one teacher that uh taught that when i was in elementary and like he was pretty strict to be honest i'm not gonna like lie mm -hmm. but i don't know why and he was like one of my favorite teacher despite like mm -hmm. some of the other kids may not like him and like maybe because like i was doing well in his class and it made me feel like oh look i'm doing something good teacher but then like one time i did made a mistake and like i guess uh i, I don't know i don't remember why exactly but like you know because i was fucking in elementary when i'm like but the teacher put me like in front of the class you know and explained something but like i felt like i failed my teacher so mm -hmm. like in that moment i couldn't like hold myself and just cried in front of my class <laughs> yeah Aww. yeah but then like i've noticed that ever since that happened like my i guess it really shocked my teacher that like cried in class and like he became less trick ever since then this mm -hmm. mm. because he felt bad i'm not quite sure I probably probably i never really hate him though i actually like i yeah. like i, I feel see. like i would be a bad teacher <laughs> if, if one of your students Cause died? no because i'm super strict oh. like because mm -hmm. my dad is super strict mm -hmm. like he doesn't fuck around mm -hmm. yeah so i will be exactly the same like I will be super strict, but if you follow me, I'll fucking show you, like, I'll, I'll teach you. Yeah. So that's why when people tell me, it's like, oh, you should be a teacher, Andy. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I'm a good tutor. I don't know about teacher. Depends on what, you like, which group of age you want to teach. Yeah. Them. But also, like, that's something, like, I admire about my dad is, like, even though he's super strict, afterwards like his students like are really grateful to him because like he, he kind of yeah they yeah they the respect is there like mm -hmm. like so that 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 is really important mm -hmm. like it's not personal like it's just get your shit together mm -hmm. yeah so that's something i always like admire is like even though he's super strict the respect is there mm-hmm Bro, I was held back for holding a pencil on the hell? That's stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like, when I wanna... I used to think teachers are always right. To some degree, yeah, they are. But yeah. as I grow older, like, I realize I had some shitty teachers <laughs> that made me miserable. But I didn't understand that, because, like, you know, their authority. And like mm -hmm. you, you would think that as a kid or like even as a teen, you would think like, oh, dude would know what's best for you and stuff like that. But sometimes, not always. Mm -hmm. Some things they just don't know what's best for you. Mm -hmm. It was just fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that it's not fine. I'm just saying like sometimes that happens. Hmm. I need a different color for this. My primary to middle school teacher hated me. I was too zesty. I'm fine, zesty. Uh, 
I mean, regardless, uh, teachers should be patient with their students, especially like what do you call it? in the development years. Like, pre- no, like, just in, just yeah, in just just in general. Actually, yeah, they just have to be patient with kids. <laughs> Yeah, because I learned something as a tutor is like, yeah, patience is a, you gotta be patient because I have taught, I have had people come in at a university level and ask me to teach them how to minus, really? how to add like negative numbers, how to divide. Yes, I have had to do that. I have taught people how to divide. That's interesting. Like, yeah, so like my expectations like was out the window it's like i don't give a sh- shit like what you need help with i'm i'm gonna do it yeah so it's like like uh it's something like i had to learn and i tell my colleague it's like yeah we have to lower our expectations because mm-hmm. it's like we might know these really well but these people coming in they might not know anything so it's like it was it was interesting because I had to fucking break down everything I know and think back to the basics. Okay, how the hell do I teach someone how to divide? See, yeah. Parking, I mean, okay. yeah. yeah, that's the thing about teaching, right? That's why I said like not everyone can teach because like it being able to teach means being able to break down everything that yeah, you no, know. Yeah, knowing something is completely different than knowing how to explain it. Mm-hmm. That's exactly, yeah, yeah, that's like, okay, I'm getting kind of yeah. excited, but like, it's kind of like languages, you know, just because you understand a language, that doesn't necessarily mean you can interpret that language. Oh yeah, I can't teach anyone Vietnamese, like, I'm chalked, like, I can't. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, because like, just because like, you understand two languages, that doesn't necessarily mean you can translate in real time what it means to someone, you know, sometimes like, if, if someone asks you to translate something, uh, you would have to like think for a bit like before you give an answer just like that's why I think being an interpreter uh, in real time is actually pretty crazy and like, yeah. especially in those diplomatic settings those are very critical because like yeah one those wrong, are stress one wrong interpretation or like translation is like and we go to war <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much so then, then yeah. like sometimes you can't translate things literally you have to like put like context clues or like interpret this in like what fits in this language context yeah. i ain't teaching yeah. anyone i'm too impatient mm. i can teach i i've taught my friends math before funny enough you know even though i'm bad at math i taught my friends math and they did better than me and i'm like oh okay <laughs> Because <laughs> I actually understand them, I just suck at it. Some words don't exist in other languages. Yeah, exactly. I find that unique, to be honest. It just goes to show uh, how culture like impacts how uh, people think, I guess. I don't know how to, how to put this into words, let's see. Let me think. Having different words that exist in their language but doesn't exist in other languages can mean like there's some things that are prioritized in that culture compared to the other ones. Mm-hmm. And it goes to show the characteristic of the people. Yeah. I think the most like drastic one that i notice is like in english you know we don't have like uh pronouns for like seniority you know seniority seniority. yeah 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 Yeah. well in like other language like japanese like korean even vietnamese like we have pronouns for seniority yeah uh in most asian uh what do you call it in most asian languages they have them because they, yeah. they, in their culture, they have a respect for the elderly. Yeah. And meanwhile, yeah. in English, they don't necessarily have that kind of same respect. Yeah. yeah. At least not to an what? extent of like yeah. Asian countries. 
to be honest, I like that from English because every time I talk to someone in Vietnamese, I have to in my brain I have to do the check. It's like, okay, which pronoun am I using? Yeah. I don't know their age. I don't know if they're over there to me. What the fuck do I call them? <laughs> But in English, I don't have to think. I just use you and I, and it's like, oh, life's good. <laughs> Yeah. That's something that does annoy me. <laughs> Or some have like ten words with the same meaning in other languages. Yeah. Ten well, words. If, you, if you're English and English is a horrible language, you have words that look the same but mean different things. Yeah. Don't Indonesians just <laughs> Indonesians too simplified for its own good that it, learning it is hard. I'm just gonna say that. Because I think Indonesian is like one of those languages where you have to just go there and talk to the people to actually learn it. And I'm assuming Vietnamese is the same. Yeah, because yeah. Because like, how do I say this? Like, Indonesian actually has a lot of gender, gender neutral. Is that a right word? Neutral gender, gender neutral. Gender neutral. Gender neutral terms. I mean, we do have mm. like gender nouns, but like most of them are pretty gender neutral. <laughs> like, uh, we don't have a. Uh, uh, this is, I can just. Google. Yeah, yeah. Vietnamese has that pro has that problem because we don't have uh, in terms of like pronouns. We don't have many gender neutral pronouns, and if. And for for the ones that are gender neutral, they are very informal. That it's like I can't use it to talk to someone. I see. Like yeah, it is very informal. It's borderline offensive. Oh really? <laughs> no, no, not not. It's like it's like you can't use Rude. that to talk to like your boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, I get it's you. like that. It's very like you use that to talk to your homies. Oh, I see. Sweet. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I guess in in Indonesian formal settings, you you have to use gender terms. I think so. Oh my God, Silver! Hello! Oh my God, hi Silver! It's been a while. This is the best art stream on the platform. Oh, thank you, Andy. There's Silver. Yes, I know. I'm just put off by you calling him Silver. I'm like, oh, wait, oh, what? So, oh, sorry, Abdul. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's been. I don't. I was just. It, it's just like I just see the username. Sorry. So, yeah, yeah, I know. But it's like, oh, hey. Yeah, how you doing, man? It's been a hot minute. Um... What do you mean you played in it? I mean. I, it's been months. It's, 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 it's yeah, been months. Yeah. Dude, I've been jumping in and out of everywhere. I mean, I wouldn't say I've been jumping in and out of everywhere, but been pretty busy. That's it. That's the right way. That's crazy. I'm just silver to be now. No, I'm sorry, Abdul. I'm sorry, Abdul. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Abdul. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm. I'm... Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I can't believe this discrimination. Yeah. I'm sorry, Yato. Hope you've been doing well. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the emotes in order, cause fuck it. Been talking about Saturn. Hello, Saturn. Good art. Thank you. Thank, thank you. In shambles. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me for I have sinned. It's like me. It's like calling Andy as. <laughs> yeah. As my. I mean, I'm fine with that. It's like if you guys know me, then that that's when it's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like when you call me Peanut. I'm like you can't really say yeah. my real name right now. So. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> I know been chill though i should come in and say hi since it's been a while well i appreciate you dropping by thank you uh i don't know if you know but i'm getting new models assets and whatnot and i'm making my emotes for that I'm gonna reveal all of them Ooh. in uh saturday this saturday this saturday next saturday next week oh my god i can't i can't i 
child. Time is such an illusion for me. <laughs> what is time? That's good. That's like thank you, thank you. I've been working on it for six months. Can you believe that? Mm-hmm. Six months. It's a long time. I know. That's why you should subscribe to me for all the emotional and financial damage. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I should promote myself more, but I get embarrassed every time I do. No, but you should. I know. I know I should. But like... What do I say? Like, hello, come, come subscribe to the awesome twitch.tv slash lag peanut for uh, yeah? amazing content every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice plug, dude. <laughs> I'm not good at promoting. I suck at social media. I've just been in my own bubble, to be honest. Wish I should go out more and promote more, but like, oh well, whatever. <sighs> I can hire someone. She do all the man, do the marketing for me, and that'll be great. Now fucking hell! For the emotional damage, smile. <laughs> Abdul, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> Appreciate it. I can't. <laughs> Why though? <laughs> could have spent your five bucks for. <sighs> I could have spent your five bucks on a, a coffee at Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? Actually, how much is coffee? Yeah, I was gonna ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue how much it costs. <laughs> me, me neither. I don't know. I should, I should try one one day. I have a, <laughs> I have a Starbucks on campus. <laughs> you never been there? <laughs> I've been there once because I needed the internet to set up my, <laughs> my Wi-Fi at home, <laughs> in my uh, apartment. That that's the one time I went to Starbucks. That's so funny. Why is that funny? <laughs> Yeah, because when I came here, in order to set up the internet, it's really stupid. Because in order to set up the internet, I need to sign into a page. But in order to sign into the page, I need internet. That is stupid, what the hell? Yeah, so I had to drag myself and a lap my laptop to Starbucks. <laughs> get everything set up, then walk home. <laughs> That's the one time I actually went in and sat. Mm. Coffee and Starbucks yeah. ain't five bucks. Um, yeah, I'd assume so. Probably a lot more. Yeah. Mm. I feel like Starbucks is more of the branding. Yeah. I don't know how much. I don't know. Yeah. How good I don't know. I think most people just drink all the fucking fancy, colorful crap from Starbucks. <sighs> I don't like it. What? I don't like. Oh, me too. It's like every time I see someone drink it, it's like, well, that's disgusting. Look, I, I'm just like, okay, you can have what you like, but I personally wouldn't. You know? Yeah, and dang, all the power to them, I guess. You should come back to my coffee shop, you see. Yeah, I know. And you'll see me just drink it in one gulp. I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge. Oh, you! I know you'll judge, but there's nothing you can do about it. I don't like how this looks. <laughs> Sitting in an authentic cafe is better than Starbucks. I mean, that's usually true for a lot of cases, right? Yeah. Homemade. Like local homemade. Um, <laughs> they all taste the same. What? what are you all say? coffee tastes the same. You're really saying that to me? 
<laughs> yeah, I said it. I don't like his hair looks. I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Anyway, yeah, you know, some locals, local, local foods from local restaurants usually taste better. Local foods. <laughs> You're insulting me right now. No, I'm making fun of me. Yeah, that's an insult <laughs> to me. This is harassment. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. I'm reporting I'm... you to HR. <laughs> HR, I am the head of HR. What do you mean? You're not the I... boss of me. I am the boss of you. No proof. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm the boss. I don't need to prove to my employee. What the fuck? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there we go. Models room. The authentic Kyrie right here near here, I need. Mean. Just go find one, bro. <laughs> Andy is HR. Andy is not HR, he's uh, the opposite of HR. I am the HR. You're... What does HR even stand for? Human resource, right? Yeah. What would be the opposite of human resource? I don't know. Anything else? No good. I'm not even going to a bakery. You know something I realized? Something I noticed, right? Chat? When it comes to bread in Asia, most bread, um, I mean, Asia as in here, but most bread are sweet. And we see it more as a, uh, what is it called? Delicacy, I guess. You know, they're mostly like those like fancy breads. I mean, I wouldn't say fancy breads, but like, I guess they're kind of fancy. But like in Europe, they're usually not sweet and have. Yeah. Or the rest of the world. Or sour, you know. What or do you mean the rest of the world? Okay. Yeah, like Asia is the only place where we make like sweet bread. Yeah, I don't know why that is actually. Like. Ham <laughs> help. Yeah, I romance the hams. And then I eat them for lunch. Yeah, like I used to. Yeah, I don't know. I. I'll be honest. I never taste noticed like the sweet, but I watch a lot of people when they eat bread, and they 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 point that out, and I'm like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Mm. Asian bread is more dessert snackish while bread in the rest of it is more savory. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I meant. It's kind of more like a snack. And like dessert. I don't know, I kind of, maybe I grew up with it so I kind of like it better that way. Yeah, I don't think people have preferences. Of course. So. Oh, yeah, bread actually. Is- yeah. Hmm? What's up? I just said bread overall is good. Bread is good. Uh, Asian bread is more. Wait, no, I already read that. What was I gonna say? Yeah, I was talk- actually talking like when I was eating at the the Vietnamese restaurant. Me and my mm-hmm. brother were actually talking about how interesting uh, culture is, and like how I we don't know much about <laughs> our neighboring countries' culture. And, yeah, that's fine. and like how food that that our daily consumptions can be so different. Mm-hmm. And like not even like different countries, just like in my country, just in different like province. Re- the, yeah, region yeah, is already pretty different. So like and like how how I like a certain like porridge. The porridge that I grew up with and how it's served is different than like uh, in some regions and like uh, there's Jakarta style porridge which is uh, actually from it's Chinese culture basically 
all like porridge and like where I'm at, which is like a different city, they they don't serve it the same way, which I actually don't like it as much, and I kind of miss the ones that are back at home. Mm -hmm. And that's like already like an an hour, like an hour an hour drive away, and the food is already pretty different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's pretty cool. Yes, it is cool. I think it's cool. Food's good. Food's good. Yeah, food brings people together. They do. Yeah. I'm growing more appreciation for food. And yes. I guess service like, as a plate. I mean, it's probably because I'm running, yeah. working. Oh, in here, yeah. here's something interesting I want to ask. Do you think you can live without dairy? So assuming you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. Andy? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell yeah. you this. Uh, I had... I know people who are lactose intolerant. They don't give a shit. They'll eat it. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. Me too. But, like, I was talking about that with, like, my colleagues and... They asked me that, then I think I have two answers. If I was living in Asia, yeah. But I don't think I could do that if I live in the US. How so? No, because like so much of the food in the US like use like butter, cheese, and milk and cream. Oh, damn, really? Yeah, like a decent amount. So fatty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's why, like if I was living in Asia, calm. Like I'll be fine because we barely eat cheese and shit yeah that's but true. like if, if, if i was living in asia then damn bro let's go mm, all right i'm gonna go struggle in valorant all oh, okay hey a fun up though Good luck. try and i hope you end up positive <laughs> okay <laughs> with a positive record <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah at the very worst you're even Good luck with your yeah games. that's okay yeah, that's something I think about. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's the one thing I worry about moving out of uh, this country, right? It's just the food. I think that's... Because yeah. food is so, like, important. Yeah, I, I'm just... Or... Yeah, I'm just in the boat. It's like, bro, I, I need to eat, so... Now I'm gonna make... I ain't got, got time to be picky. Big bread? Go big bread, bro. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Sola. Thank you, Andy. What do you mean, just thank you, Andy? I said, I said, good luck too. What the hell? <laughs> see, do you see? This is why the boys are just biased towards you. You know, because I'm HR. <laughs> Can't believe this. What was I gonna talk about? Now oh, you made me forget. Food. Yeah. It's great. Food's good, yeah. When I travel, yeah. I, yeah, I guess and... when I travel to Japan, all the food were either really sweet or really salty, and I that is not my taste, but I was like not enjoying Weak. it. Yeah. But in Korea, I, I was it was still manageable because I don't know it fits my taste, but mm -hmm. despite it being different, I guess. Mm -hmm. Human resource? Yeah, I know. I have I have an HR department apparently. I am the HR. Pock off, you're not doing a good job. <laughs> I'm trying. You watch your back. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? I'm I'ma report you. To you what? To, me that. to who? Your mom? To to the higher ups, yeah, yeah your actually. mom, yeah, your, your, your higher up is your mom, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got tiramisu coming up this week, bread later. Ooh, tiramisu, yeah, I like sweets, but I don't think I can eat it every day. Yeah, no, I say that, but I probably do eat it every day. <laughs> I don't like sweets mm -hmm. that much. I, know. I would rather have savory. <laughs> also, hi, Amora. Sorry, I forgot to say hi. <laughs> yes. 
I am the HR. <laughs> totally not corrupted. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I have my suspicion on you. But like, like the food, I think I just like when food is made by people that like puts love into it. I don't know. It's it's corny, but it's like I don't know. I guess also I I like regardless of the food, like if it's mid, I'm fine with it. If I'm eating around people, like I think eating food with people, like I think that's like, I think that's great. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, I get you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I get you. Cause like I think it's more. Uh, it hits more, you know. Yeah, that's why when I came here, even though I don't celebrate like Thanksgivings and Christmas and whatnot, I I still like just having a meal with a bunch of people. Uh, it's fun. Then you will like aid. I aid. I fuck. What is it called in English? Aid. Yes. Because that's also a time where people gather together and eat food. Yeah. But, yeah. um, um... Something about food. I lost my train of thought. Oh well. Are not both. Sweet and savory at the same time is great. No, was... that's close. Excuse me? Yeah, I don't like that. What the? Who are you? Give me an example. Okay. I have a um, specialty dish. My restaurant, where it's cheese wrapped in um. I don't know what's it called in English. Oh my god. Just describe it. So it's like. Inside of it is cheese, and then it's wrapped around it's like skin crunchy thingy. That's kind of uh -huh. like a. Yeah. And then like you put chocolate condensed milk on top of it. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Fine. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> fine. You know, it's, it's fine to be wrong. Yeah. That's an L. What do you mean that's an L? I'm gonna make you taste it. <laughs> Yeah, and it's gonna taste bad. Whatever. I was gonna say that sweet and spicy is really good. Is there a lot of. Is there any spicy dishes in Vietnam? Yeah? Like, okay, how common is it? Not. Not. It's not very. But, nice. like, they exist. Okay. Kind of sound like stuffed churros. I mean, I want to say it's churros. Cause like, actually, I don't know what authentic churros tastes like. Cause the one I had in Japan, they were so sweet. Like it was criminally, like too sweet. Like I, I just like, what is this? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Japan. Like you have pretty cool stuff, but. Sometimes when it's sweet food, it's way too sweet to my liking. Okay, let me just put this. It's gonna get covered up. Well, I'll stop. Much more spicy this in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to feel about that. Spicy food. Is <laughs> spicy food is important to me. <laughs> Yeah, but our, our, our just savory food is good in general, so... Savory food is fine. I just like things but, spicy. You can make it spicy. Well, that's good enough then. 
Yeah. yeah. You can put chili sauce and chili oil and whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Fried Oreo? The hell? No. Yeah, fried Oreo is like asking, like, why, why are you doing this to your body? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why people come. I mean, it's like it's like coming up with fried <sighs> fried ice cream. I mean that that's just America at its finest. So. Is it is it America? It's, like America has some fucking dumbass fried shit, yeah. Mm, be, wait, who hates banana? Oh, it was hard. Yeah, I like bananas. They're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Art doesn't like banana, but there's. I like. Fried you don't like bananas too. No, I like bananas. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah I like bananas. Yeah. Like they're good, nutritious, easy to eat. Mhm. That's a big part. Fried or you tried it? What fried ice cream you tried? Had it in Vietnam? Mhm. Or was a fried or fried rice are fucking good though. Fried ice cream is also good. Stop frying everything. Look, guys. If you fry something sweet, it's actually good. I'll tell you. I, I, we have a snack. No, I, I swear. If you fry anything, most likely it'll be good. If well, yeah. at the very least, mid. Well, yeah, I don't know. Like, what's up with that? But, like, we have fried banana here. That's a, that's a snack. No, oh, in Vietnam too. That shit. Really? It's good. I yes. love, I love fried banana. Yes, it's good. I wanna know how but you also, if I eat shit like that, I feel like my heart is about to fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go to Vietnam now. Like, I'm very curious. Yeah, fried, yeah, fried bananas are pretty common. Oh, it's just different ways to prepare it. Yeah, for sure. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Let me make this bigger. Your fried banana are everywhere. Here in the feeling is much fit. Much has so much variety. I don't like fried stuff because it's so freaking greasy. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that but, is 100% valid. But we, 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 uh, we have a lot of fried stuff here. I don't like fried stuff that much either. Hatred for. Yeah, I, I know you hate bananas. Can't believe this. You get to eat fried things and bananas? Can't believe this. This is discrimination against me. Against me and my people. <laughs> Are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Never you dare. Remember, I am HR. You dare. I will report you. To who? Wash. Stop. To wash yourself. Stop reporting your to your mom. It's like she cares. God. What's your mom doing? Oh, are you are you busy? Sorry. No, no. What's up? I was gonna ask what is your mom like. No, she's just chill. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the boss. Mm hmm. You must know how you fry food it can be not already greasy if you do it right. Apparently, I inherit my dislike for bananas. Like, okay, it's like me. You don't like bananas because of the texture. Cause that's what. Yes, that that is a common like thing. Like, mm -hmm. that's a common reason why people don't like bananas because of the texture. texture. It's slimy. My brother also doesn't like it slimy. What? <laughs> it sounds so weird out of context. My brother also don't like it because of the texture. Yeah, it's just but, fine. But he'll, he's fine with... Is he fine with fried bananas? Actually, I don't know. Texture, shape, flavor, and color. What the hell? What do you mean color? I'm yellow. <laughs> just... Ugh, fuck off. Can't believe yeah, this. Color. Bro, a lot of fruits are yellow, my man. <laughs> I 
gonna make you eat banana, I don't care. But I'll put a blindfold so you'll never know. Sun. I'll make it a smoothie so you can't smell it that well. In fact, I'll put it inside your coffee. Air fryers. Yeah, true. When I move out, like I'm, I'm thinking about getting an air fryer. You should. It's pretty. It's a. Yeah. It's sim okay. It's convenient. It's <laughs> easy to use. Yes, but it it's also. A mess. It's, it also takes up a lot of electricity, so you have to consider. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm work. just letting you. Know. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's healthier, in quotes, so I've heard. <laughs> so you've heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Art's house has an air fryer. It's pretty good. You know, my mom bought an air fryer, but she was like, "You know, air fryers kind of stupid." And then she sells it, and I was like, "Mom, why?" Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't know how to use it. That's why she sold it. You know? um, Do I stick enough? I don't know. Do I have money for one? I mean, are they that expensive? I think so. I have to remember sometimes what things are. Even though. Yeah, me um, too. Yeah. No, cause like, I, ne I never look at like appliances. <laughs> look, man. Like, I know, like, some things are just readily available in our houses, but that doesn't mean they're cheap for others, you know? I, yeah. I realized that when, like, uh, so we had this microwave at home that we just, uh, put, started putting in our, like, restaurant. And, like, I called, like, all of my co-workers have never actually used a microwave. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it was like that realization hits. You know, you, you know, it's here's here's the thing, right? You you never realize how privileged you are until it actually hits you that no, there are some mm. people who never experience what is normal to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. And I think it's good to be aware of those privileges. Here. I was made aware of the best mango variety. Alfonso mango. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know, mango here is great. They're expensive though. Then swinging, they juicy, it feels like peach. Mmm, interesting. I don't have, I've never had peach. I don't think. Microwave is. I don't bad. like them. My French is privileged in Southeast Asia. He only got one because it was a gift. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was privileged. <laughs> I just thought it was a normal appliance. To be fair, I was put into like private schools when I was younger, so. Mm -hmm. I don't like the kids there, though. I think they're annoying. Too spoiled. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I get that. Like, I have a lot of friends who are like, very, whose family are very well off. So. Mm. <sighs> so what the fuck is Chris Fresco? I feel like America calls every white cheese. Yeah, true. <laughs> peaches are great. I've never had. Really. You don't like peaches, you said. Nah. The only peaches I've had was still Monty ones in a cup and can. I gotta go for Maso. Um, I don't know, man. I don't feel the need to buy peaches. And also, same. I just buy bananas. That's bananas. my go-to fruit. Yeah. Bananas. 
I like Nina's. Nina's. I like. <laughs> we lost my train of thought because of bananas. 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 What's my favorite? But bananas, apples. I like apples. I like pears more than apples. Pears. Pears. <laughs> Sorry, we say it pear, okay? We say we yeah. here we say pear. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're more a we're a roll tongue with a roll R, cause you know we we mm -hmm. our R's are not are are like that. We our R's are like. Rrr. Can you say that? Can you do that? Rrr. Yep, Rrr. I can roll my R's. Yeah. I can roll my R's, which I didn't know apparently it was. Uh, in quotes, a hard thing to do. No, only in English, because uh, the rolling of the tongue does not exist in the English vocabulary. Yeah, true. Uh, that's why. And like that's the, okay. That's the thing about learning languages, right? So like, when your native language is, let's say, English, you would have a hard time learning. Uh, let's say like East Asian languages because of the intonations and stuff like that and like the same can go for them to with English right they will find it hard but like that's because of how different uh, the structure of the language and the pronunciation intonation and stuff like that and then I, it's just I just find that interesting but like once you start learning languages one by one you start to be able to notice patterns and then like basically you can just learn languages a lot faster once you know one once you know like two or three i guess and but i guess that depends on like the proximity of the language as in like how how similar they are to one another like let's say if you're learning um korean or uh, you can learn Chinese and Japanese kind of easily because of how there are some similarities between those languages and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a fresh peach and you will send. Maybe I'll get a peach. This one certainly I associate with comfort and I eat them in the hospital and they were the only ones that were good. But from hunk pork and beans. Oh, you know, I've never had pork. I mean, no, that's a lie. I had ham in Japan. They're not really that amazing. I'm just gonna say that right now. Yeah, that's like ham. Ham is like a very safe, like deli meat option. Dude, There's... it's so bland. <laughs> like, yeah, is... it, it it is very safe. So yeah, look, like... look, look. I wasn't. I'm not supposed to eat those. That's the thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but like, uh, whoops! Oh no, I accidentally bought it. Oh well, eat. But don't tell my mom. <laughs> don't think she'll like that. You have a lot of pork dishes in your country? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hams has variety. I like the honey. Honey? What? Yeah, so ham is cured, and they can like slap a bunch of shit on the on the outside of it while they cure it. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a, a lot of variety. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, have you ever had pork floss? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, we have um the beef version, beef version of it. It's like. That's the ones that's commonly eaten, and that's one of my favorite food. Like, just have that beef floss and um, with some warm rice, and mm -hmm. then it's is a good, uh, good simple dish. And I had that when I was younger. It's like one of my favorite food. Honey ham is pretty good. I put maple syrup on ham sometimes. The cured ham is the best. Yeah, put... so that's, that's a lot of variety. Let's see. 
Yeah. That's interesting. I guess, I guess it shouldn't be that shocking to me, because like we have a lot of variety for our chicken. Yeah. Uh, no, I love chicken. I mean, it's chicken. Chicken is so versatile. I I love chicken. Now speaking of chicken, uh, my grandma used to make this chicken dish, and I, I really miss that dish because it's been I've never had it again ever since my grandma passed away. Mm -hmm. I I need to learn it how to make one. I just, I don't think it should be hard. Probably just mm -hmm. takes a while to make. Is the music over? Is it too mm. over? Oh, it's too over. <laughs> it's too over. What the hell? Is... Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's a it's a meme where people just put Joe Biden and then put over, so it's like Joe over. <laughs> you know, you know Joe Biden, right? Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> Joe, you know, like the word Joe from Joe Biden, yeah. and then over, and then it's just like since it starts with O, it just goes over. And it goes Is this over. from TikTok? No, it's not from TikTok. It's just on meme. Yeah. No, on tw it's on Twitter. Hold on, let me search it up. Joe, I know you are not up to date to memes nowadays, but yeah, I, I'm not, and I, and I am grateful for that every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're missing out sometimes, you know? No. <laughs> no, I have to explain to you of some of the fucking weird ass uh, uh, humor that I have. <sighs> How do you put up with me? Must be real. <laughs> uh, I have a switch and I just turn it off. <laughs> You don't care about me. <laughs> and you really don't. No, because I, I'm, I honestly believe I'm fucking, I'm so uninterested that it's like, yeah, you can talk about it. I just, <laughs> no, um, does that mean you don't care? I do. I just don't care about the cringy memes. <laughs> fair. That's fair. But anyways, I'm gonna like explain I... to you what they are, regardless. Okay. When it comes to when, when you start questioning my humor. Uh-huh. I'm fine with that. Yeah. He's living in Joe's country. Oh my god. Does Joe Biden still live? <sighs> He's the president, of course he lives here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did maybe see Joe and Obama memes too? I haven't seen those present memes, but maybe I should. I don't know. I'm so I'm tired of everything being in America. Everything is America. This America that shut up. <laughs> you Americans. Totally, I'm totally biased. Cause I'm not American. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, you, yeah. You live in America, though, so it makes more sense if you know about it, but... Have you ever gone to the hospital? Yeah. In America, sorry. Oh, hell no. And like, I... Mm -hmm. and like, I'm... What is it? I'm happy that I haven't got majorly sick ever since I came here. That's good. Yeah. I'm supposed to just delete this. Chad loves Obama. 
Obama, Obamehameha, and Biden blasts. Okay. <laughs> American healthcare is very dangerous. Venture with your wallet. Go to a hospital in the U.S. as one way ticket to bankruptcy. I, I, I get. I, I still don't understand how, how they fucked it up so, so badly. America is a country I'll never understand, but then again, so is my country, so I can't really say much, you know? I like my country's doing any better. When I look at the news, I'm just like, I don't want to listen to any of this stupidity. <laughs> you know, because I care about my mental health. But sometimes, some things I cannot avoid, and I'm like, oh, I'm unfortunate. See guys, this is why I keep blocking people on Twitter. Do you know how many stupid yeah. people on Twitter? I'm like, oh my fucking god, just like, if you shut your mouth, maybe things wouldn't be this that bad, you know? That, that, that's, that's my mood on Twitter sometimes. I'm like, people keep quote retweeting um, people saying horrible shit and dumb shits and quote unquote dunking on them but when in reality it's just like you're spreading the hate indirectly by showing everyone what the horrible things people have said I'm like just just to don't interact with them just fucking report them bro like stop sorry this is my meaning right most of the accounts I blocked as like uh, what is it just fucking bot accounts I think because like I I don't know if this happens to you, yeah, they go to, to, or to anyone. Yeah. No, I just get like I would just have accounts add me to lists. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then I would Wait. look at that and it's like then I see the the username is a bunch of numbers. I'm like, yeah, you're out. <laughs> okay, true. Andy, we I think we know why you added to lists. No, but it's like I don't think they're real people. Oh, okay. Because I see their their name as a bunch of fucking numbers. They're not real people. Mm -hmm, okay. I don't know. I don't get that. It's too random. List, so. God, people take Ubers to him. Then an ambulance is cheaper. Damn. Capitalism and his finest. <laughs> Capitalism. Bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, why can't I say it like that? Well, you see, guys, wouldn't be a problem if everyone gets food and shelter. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Crazy concept. But what if, you know? I mean about people when they send me spam DM. Spam DM? Like what? So if I spam your DMs right now, would you block me? <laughs> <laughs> do it. I won't do that. Block, no. block them no more. What the fuck? Preemptive block. No! <laughs> this is bullying. Don't do that. <laughs> Free healthcare, but for Canadians? I mean, like. You know, I think every country always fuck up their immigrants in some way. What do you think? Hmm. What you doing, Andy? Warframe. Lame. I know, right? Only losers play this game. Yeah, you're a loser. Hmm? Oh, you get those spams. Damn. Oh, only yeah, I also get them actually sometimes. That's the type of spams that I get. Mm -hmm. I 
would love to live in Canada. I'll think about it. On how I mean, I've I've thought about how to. Um, and I've also, but uh, something I've noticed. Getting into NA, uh, generally, it's quite difficult. I don't know why. Like, not just America, Canada, too. think about it how to get there <laughs> Is there not easier to get in than the US? How so? <laughs> oh my god, I drew all those details. It's gonna get covered by this stupid fucking hand. <sighs> okay. My back hurts. You know what, chat? Stretch. Ooh. I'm gonna remove myself. Now I'm a bean. Do you see the bean? Yeah, it's so curse. I right, right? I love it. Yeah, it's just just the head poke. It's it's curse. It's it's fall guys bean. Yeah, but normally their face don't fucking pop out. <laughs> well, Either way, I'm a bean. Uh huh. So, gotta live with it, bro. <laughs> I got this, um, cause like a friend of mine, they just made, they just beanified everyone. No, it's so cute. your stinking farm yeah i mean like <gasps> guys uh, since i've already showed my fucking design technically i can use the art that was that has been made for me you know i'm so happy probably gonna change my twitter profile pic <sighs> let's see which art do i want to use I want a chibi version or do I want a... Um, Cause I commissioned my dear friend They are amazing at art I love their art so much I just die inside every time they make art for me oh, Probably not this picture I'll do it later. I'm just fan girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hunchback Peanut? I guess so. Have you guys watched the Hunchback Notre Dame? No. <gasps> you haven't? No, I haven't. <sighs> I don't know if you like it. Mm. Actually. It's, I mean, it's an old Disney movie, and that's something for sure. It, it's, um... It's an old Disney film with dark themes. That's all I could say, I guess. That was... like I've seen, I've seen clips of it. Yeah, it's fire. I know what it looks like. Yeah. 
I I mean I'm biased because I like watching animated movies in general, but I think it's very good. The thumbs, the hand, they actually look pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Shrimping. <laughs> Help me. Stand, stand up and stretch. No. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm doing it. Fine. You win. Nah. Uh, chat. How often do you exercise? I don't. Actually, I love my chat. They don't exercise. <laughs> They're all. Virgin nerd loser. No bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I called you virgin head no bitches. <laughs> no, sorry. No, I'm insulting them because I'm the same. Yeah, true. You got no bitches. <laughs> You're right. Stuff you think you guys are threatening me? <laughs> That's fun. I do work out one, okay, except for you, Homer. You're a special case. How do I do the hell? How do I do thumbs again? Not thumbs. Look at your hand. Shut up. <laughs> It's okay, guys. There's nothing wrong with being single. How the hell do I do this? I have work tomorrow, no. So poo poo. You? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you? I'm gonna move you somewhere. Make you upside down. Fuck you. Yeah, that's fine. I'm like a bat. Mm. Well, then I did a nerd part. Well, my, my, well, my audience are all nerds. Nerds attract nerds. That's supposed to mean. So, since you are a nerd, everyone else in chat, therefore, is also a nerd. I'm not a nerd. You know, it's an if and only if. The chat is a nerd, or nerds, if the streamer is also a nerd. And I'm vice not, versa. I'm not a nerd. In fact, I have... I'm, nope. I'm exuding it, so much charisma that all the nerds got this. You have no bitches. What the fuck? I. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> it's an if and only if. I want if I say my chat have bitches, will I have bitches? <laughs> yeah? Making a formal apology to my chat. <laughs> I'm 
gonna make it like a YouTube style apology video. Yeah. Uh, you gotta start with your eyes a little bit red. How do I do that with my V tour? I don't know. Just, just put a red background. <laughs> You know, and peril is not the hell. <laughs> then you would be a liar. What do you mean, liar? Yeah, I said I still don't get Riz. Riz. I mean, I already explained it to you. No? I, I know it. Like, I don't know. I still don't find it funny. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. I mean, it's it's not funny. It's just a slang. Yeah, I I still, I still find it weird. No, nah, that's fair. And it cause like, who, who like who started it? I have no clue. Actually, let's search it up. Where does the word "risk" come from? The word "risk" or is it from? On oh, on what? Who? On who? On TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was originated with the streamer Kai Snap. Wait, really? Yeah, Silky and Duke Dennis. Really? From in, them? In 2022, the word went viral on TikTok with many confused about its definition. The term has spawned oh. countless explainer articles and endless sea of memes. Yeah, see how more it gets me. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, no, I you kinda, know. And I don't see what's what's the, like the, the in quotes hype about them but the word but sure mm, no, i have i had a feeling you guys would have the same would be the yeah. same on it i don't know you guys both have the same vibe not yeah, in a bad with, way just like yeah, yeah, with the, with, we can't be ass with a lot of shit <laughs> i guess in, uh, what the hell i drew all of this only to be deleted sedge okay yeah, get game is like oh, they got game, he got game. Yeah, that that that, that makes what? sense. Like Riz is just I don't know, weird. Game, oh game. Okay, I just got it now. I don't. I yeah. rarely hear that now. <laughs> yeah, like it's old school. The yeah, bell. plus the. Probably be more productive if I do this off stream. I have about a week to finish this. Oh, hmm. week less to be precise. But try and stream. Maybe after coloring it, I'll do it after I color then coloring it. What you gonna do? Hmm? Are you still playing Warframe? Yes. How long are you gonna play? I don't know. It's just a bit. Yeah, before some random guy says Riz and it popped. <laughs> That's how culture works, isn't it? I don't Internet culture is weird, actually. Yeah. But, uh... And like, obviously, it would like. Sorry. And obviously, it would pop because like, Kai Sanat is like the biggest Twitch streamer. Yeah, I'm sorry. Even though he's the biggest Twitch streamer, I did not know that until like. Yeah, that's uh, because like, he's his content is very normy. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that I'm the things that I like are technically niche. Yeah. I'm not saying a little bit, but
be honest, with how much things or rather information that gets thrown, not thrown, like spread around, I feel like the usage or a trend of things become a lot more quicker and quicker. Like they come and go so quickly. Does that make sense? Especially with short form videos. That will definitely not impact a whole generation of how they think critically. Yeah. Co COVID fucked up the perception of a lot of people, especially like kids. <laughs> yeah, and like since we become so online, having readily available dopamine 24 7 is actually bad. Wow, who would have thought? Yeah. Sneeze. <laughs> Three, four. Thank you. No, no, no. But then again, that kind of stream caters to older children. <sighs> yeah, very. Yeah, he has a very young audience. I would assume, and like teenagers and whatnot. I don't feel like they should. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Like he, he. he... Like his content, like a lot of things he does, he gets away with it. I don't like, know. It's, Tush, Tush, let him get away with some things. I just feel like there's so many things unmoder, unmoderized, unmoderate, un, unmoderated, unmoderated. Yeah, true. Like nowadays, and like the line bit is the line of real life and internet has become such a blur that it's actually concerning for me. Mm -hmm. So concerning. I don't like where we are heading, but there's not, there's we are going full speed at a downhill with no brakes, so there's not much we can do about it. That's a very grim way to say it, but uh, not everything is bad. Because... Uh, I don't have data to back up that sentence. I don't want to be too pessimistic, but... <sighs> how do you think it's feel like that way? Because of how too many information we have? Eh. Yeah. It's crazy when I see kid glue their eye and all that. Oh, glue their eye to the iPad. Okay, not literally gluing. Okay. Yeah, not literally. No, yeah. That is the fault of the parents. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, to, def to be fair, at this day and age, it's easier to just, just like, give a kid an iPad than, you know. They'll shut up, right? No, no, like, yeah, no! Like... That's, they'll, you are literally giving them brain damage. <laughs> literally, we have, like, okay, so our restaurant, next to our restaurant, right, we have, like, a like a like a learning center that is specifically for kids with have learning uh disabilities i guess mm -hmm. so like spe kids with special needs and stuff like that and like a majority of them are like picking kids that are like well the parents didn't know how to take care of them when they were younger so they kind of fucked up how they're learning and now they have to get take extra classes because of like their parents don't know how to teach their children and i'm like oh boy if only this a whole situation would have avoided if he didn't fucking put them you know give them tv and an ipad you know and like, 
come on, man. Let's be a better fucking parent. I mean, I'm glad that they're doing, you know, the extra mile of like putting them in special education. But also, goddamn, you know, mm -hmm. like, like the childrens that come, like childrens are pretty. Oop, that's not like often in my restaurant, right? It's mm -hmm. like a family restaurant kind of. It's just like it just so happens uh, most of our customers are, and like. Whenever there are kids, I I can tell <laughs> where or not they've taught their kid they're they're a good parent or not. But you know, I'm just a random person serving you food, so I can't really judge how you teach your kids, right? I just I'll mm -hmm. just accommodate to like whatever and just serve you. So like yeah, sometimes I see good parents and I'm like I have hope. But other times I see bad parents, so I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, it's just, yeah. See, my niece on her iPad and I start sweating. I mean, yeah. Bro, you won't believe how many times I see children and parents dropping cards and just sitting with their mom, phone, and iPad when I'm working. It's supposed to be parents that their kids online all the time. Mm, mm, mm. And then they blame the internet for not. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That's the thing. That's why YouTube. Yeah, that's why YouTube can exist when it shouldn't. Mm, it shouldn't have to exist, right? Because, because, because parents should be the one monitoring their kids on what they're watching. But no, they're gonna blame. Uh, literally everyone and everything else except for themselves. So. That's why we don't have good stuff anymore. Really. We can never have good things anymore. Shocker. But anyways, that's enough of ranting. I don't know anything about raising kids. I'll be honest. <laughs> like, I realize I don't know how to fucking raise a kid, but I was role playing D and D. <laughs> I know that sounds really bizarre to say, but like we had a kid character right in our party, and then like we try to take care of the kid but like realize damn this is actually a fuck fucking hard man it, it's very real too and i'm like oh my god you know uh, taking mm -hmm. like like taking care of a kid and it's a very difficult job and i'm like mm, i don't know if i can ever do it maybe but like <laughs> I need a lot of patience for that. I disagree on a good chunk of those points. Yes, we are talking about Ali. I disagree. Well, we can agree to disagree, so. You know. I'm ready to take care of myself. I mean, like babysitting and uh, raising a kid is different, I would say. Oop. Silly me, I put the bucket tool first. Was I ranting? <laughs> Completely lost me train of thought. What you doing? <laughs> Wolfie. Oh, okay. Why are you laughing? Did you ask that like a bit ago? <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, when? I was like 10 and 15 minutes ago. Well, you suck. <laughs> but yeah. Got you, fam. I don't know where you listening what I was saying. Yeah? Oh, okay. Man, that's a stupid question. Why am I asking you that? I don't know. 
why are I, why is the topic this i'll just say that i had very many towards kid i do not miss the part of that campaign mixed feelings Yeah, I could see that actually. Wait, was the kid a, an NPC or like a character? No, it's a player, player, playable character. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, like someone played. Yeah, yeah. The character. Yeah. Oh, someone played the character. Um, I think it's realistic to an actual kid. That's the thing. But uh, eventually they uh, switch to a different, a new character, a new PC. Uh, like I halfway see. through the campaign, yeah. When you say kid, like, how old was the character? Uh, uh, below 10. Oh, oh, that's actual kid. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I, I can see how that would get. Uh, no, no. Messy here. Yeah. Annoying. Um, yeah. I've uh, actually had a uh, DM. A DM where they just like they have a rule where there's just like no no children uh, PC. Yeah, I get I get that. Yeah, six or seven. Oh hell no. <laughs> yeah, cause like like Esme, who I'm is planning on playing, like she's around like teen, teen. young adult yeah. range, I mean, and I'm... that that's like the most I'll go. I don't think I would play like a kid game. Teen. Yeah, and the most I've gone was like with. It was his name Silver. <laughs> oh yeah. My God. Yeah. So awkward. Now I just realized. Silver. Yeah. My pirate boy. I miss him so much. I gush. Andy, did you know I gush over him like on my stream? No. Okay, so I had a stream where I just rambled on about my D and D characters. Uh -huh. I'm like all my babies. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause my babies. Mm -hmm. Cause they're my babies. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very emotional. I miss, I miss, I miss our pirate campaign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss my dumbass warforge. I miss role playing with the party. Yeah. What's Lamson been doing? He's working. Like a nine to five. Yeah, he's busy. He's been traveling around. I mean, he's al he's always been traveling, but he's traveling more. I'm assuming. Yeah, like cause his his job now. It's like he's traveling like I don't know a couple times a week. A couple times a week? That's crazy. I could I never. Think so. Oh, uh, fucking hell. Okay, I'll just do the face later. <sighs> oh, yeah. Never end up answering who would win a battle royale to death with an all your PCs. Hmm, that is true. I don't know. Like, the highest level. Highest level. Assuming they have, they have the same level. Oh, assuming they have the like, same power level? Okay, I have a wizard. Wizard, fighter, barbarian. Uh, bard. Josh Buckler. And then I have a rogue too. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, like, arguably, what is the strongest? Uh, should I just run? Should I just run a game? For myself, I just run on my own and then just there's <laughs> a one person campaign where I just put my OCs or my DND character, I guess, to battle to the death. 
Ugh. I think that'd be funny. And then I just roleplay with myself. That's that's kind of sad. It is, but it's also kind of funny. Oh yeah, it would be kind of funny. I don't know. I just had a feeling Raja might win, but who knows? Hey, Andy. Who's I have... Raja? Again? What do you mean, who's Raja? Is this a genuine question? Yes, I legit forgot. My tiefling cleric. Oh, him. Okay, I remember it now. Does Bro, that mean you been... didn't? Does that mean you didn't know what what I meant when I was naming my 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 cat in Warframe oh. Raja, and you just didn't oh, no. say Nandy? Yeah. Huh? I was just like, oh, okay. I'm offended. I'm sorry. It's been a while since that game. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame you. But I'm what also sad. Ask? I forgot. You made me forget. <laughs> you made me so upset I forgot. I'm sorry. It's fine. Wait. I can't, can't we just have no nose or the hell? Should I even put nose? I guess I'll put a nose later. Oh, uh, what? Have you read the latest chapter of Oshinoko? Oh, maybe? I don't... Yeah? I don't know if they release a new chapter yet. The one with... Oh. I was gonna say the one with Arthur, but that's not clear. Hold on. Actually, do I want to say spoilers? Probably not on stream. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll talk about it off stream, maybe. When are you gonna do your yeah. midterms? I don't know, sometime today. I'm gonna start it. Uh-huh. It's actually already midnight. Well I'll stop here actually. In a bit. After I I add this. How does my email look? Nice. Yay. Nice. Do you know the nice cock me? I think so. I don't know where it's from. Uh, well, it's an image of Sonic. Or was it Shadow? I think it was Shadow. And then he just says nice cock. Like I, that means stupid, but I kind of like. It. Okay, I'm done with this. Hmm. I think I'm done. Hold on. Like I'm done for today. Yeah. Uh, anyone I can read. Let's see. What do I read? Hmm. I don't have anyone uh, that I know of. I'll just find someone random. Um, or I could just end the stream. That is also a thing I can do. Mm -hmm. I can also read someone. 
I could end stream or read song. Read channel. Every time I hear, every time I say the word read, I just think of read channel. <laughs> Are you laughing? Yeah, he's like, okay. Thank you for the redeeming drink of water. I should drink water. <laughs> You're drinking water. Yes. Water is good. Not as good as these nuts. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> w. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm too brain dead right now. I'm too stupid. I'm too uh, empty head. To think, so I'll just end the stream. <gasps> okay. Thank you guys for watching and stopping by and saying hello and also subbing. Wait, um, why am I speedrunning the thank you? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. But no, yeah, uh, seriously. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means a lot to me. Every time you come by and just chat and just say something silly. <laughs> and not necessarily silly, just anything really. And I just talk to you guys. I think it's, it's nice being able to uh, talk and chat with you guys yeah this is this is my way of like hanging out with everyone without having to be uh in uh certain servers i guess i don't know <laughs> yeah thank you guys uh i might stream tomorrow i'm not quite sure wait what do you mean today's a sunday oh wait it's midnight okay yeah that makes sense all right okay but yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, till then, I'll see you guys next time. I'll post a stream schedule tomorrow too, at midnight at most. So, uh, until then, bye bye.